Hello, welcome to Excellence Link Academy. For today, we'll be dealing on differentiation, right? An aspect in calculus. Differentiation, by definition, has to do with a change in a parameter or variable with respect to another parameter or variable, right? I said differentiation has to do with what? Change in a parameter or variable with respect to another parameter or variable. Now, for instance, if I'm giving a parameter y, right, I'm giving a parameter y express as a function of what? x, f of x. So, my derivatives, uh, the change in y with respect to x become what? the y over the x is now equal to f prime of x. Also, if I'm giving the parameter m expressed as a function of m, f of m, the change in m with respect to m becomes what? the m over the word m is equal to f prime of what m. So here's the basic principle of differentiation, right? So if I'm told to differentiate, uh, what are the method of differentiation? There are about six methods of differentiation, and I'm going to leave them out and take them one after the other. Let's start with the methods of differentiation. Methods of differentiation. Number one, I have a general method, right? General, general method. Some people prefer, some people call it a par method, right? General method. Number two, I have the chain rule method. Chain rule. The chain rule. Number three, I have the product rule. Product rule. This chain rule, some people can call it the function of a function or function of several functions. Chain rule is also called function of a function of a function or function of several function function of a function or function of what several several functions i have what product rule number four i have um, implicit differentiation implicit differentiation right i have general method i have chain rule product rule Right, implicit demonstration. I have the quotient rule, quotient rule, um, and also I think that's all. So these are the um, basic five methods of differentiation. But for today, I want to start with um, the general method of differentiation. Right, general method of differentiation. General method of differentiation. What is the concept behind the method of differentiation? Um, let's say for instance, I have a parameter y expressed as a function of what? x such that this is equal to x to the power of n. I'm told to differentiate y with respect to x. Hence, the change in y with respect to x becomes what? The y over the x is equal to now here's the principle for general method. What's the idea? What's my power here? N. The principle is multiply by the power and subtract from the word from the power. That's all. So what's my power here? N. Multiply what by the power? N times everything here, x to the power of n, then what? Subtract from the power minus one. If I proceed, I will have my y over the x to be equal in value to what? n x n minus 1. Here is the basic concept behind the general method of differentiation. Let's take an example and let's see how we can manipulate using the work concept of what general method. Let's say I have example 2. I have x to the power of 3. Right? Sorry, y is equal to what? x to the power of 3. I'm going to produce Differentiate this via general method. What do I do? What the concept? Multiply by the power and subtract from what? From the 
bar, that's all. So what is the there? So listen, I'm differentiating y with respect to what? x. That becomes what? The y over the x, that's all. Becomes what? The y over the x is equal to, we said what? Multiply by the part. The part here is what? 3. Multiply by everything here. Hence, what? Subtract one from what? Part minus 1. So that we see my dy over the x is equal to 3x to the power of 3 minus 1 is what? 2. Here is my answer after differentiating using general method. Also, if I have example um, 3, this way, example 3, if I have y is equal to 6x, sorry, let me use, uh, let me have y is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. If I have this, uh, let's say this one, uh, a polynomial equation, right? Or polynomial equation. If I have this, how do I differentiate this via general method? Our first task, we know that I'm differentiating y with what? Respect to the x. That becomes what? The y over the x is equal to, we said what? Multiply by the part. I'll take this first. The part here is what? 3 times everything here becomes what? 4x cubed. Then what? Minus 1. So I cut over the bar. I have this. That's for this. Plus, I have 3. So the y is 2. Multiply by the bar. That becomes what? 2 times 3. Right? Hence, multiply by the bar. I have this and this. Also, I have what? x. My 2 minus 1. So I cut over the word from the part. That's all. I have minus. This is 2. The bar here is what? 1. That becomes what? 1 times 2x subtract from, from 1. That becomes 1 minus 1, which is what? 0. Plus, this is what? This is 1. In differentiation, if I have a term that is not attached to x, we call it what? Constant. x becomes what? 0. Now, why is that 1 is 0? Why is constant term 0? Let me show you the improvement to that. Um, let's say, um, and my question is that I'm having 4 attached to x, 3 attached to x, 2 attached to x. My question is that, is 1 attached to x? Obviously, yes. By the concept of what? Zero law of indices, which says that any number less than power 0 is 1 except 0. I can express 1 in terms of x. How? If I have 1 this way, it can be written as what? 1 times 1. I'm still correct. Which is what? 1. I can write this as what? 1 times x is power what? 0. Because the sentence for is what? Is 1. So hence, if I, not, if I apply our normal general method at this point, we said what? Multiply by what? By the power. What is the power here? Yeah. 0 equals what? 0 times 1. Obviously, is what? 0. That is why I have 0 here. Yeah. So any term that is not attached to x, that becomes what? 0. So that proceed here, we're having my dy over the x is equal to 3 times this what? I have 12. x to the power of what? 3 minus 1 is what? I have 2. That's all. Plus, I have 3 times 3 is what? I have 6. x. Uh, 2 minus 1 is what? I have 1. You don't need to put 1 up here. Because we have done that every alphabet that's standing alone has in an invisible 1. That's all. I have the negative sign. Minus 1 times 2 is what? 2 x to power of what? 0. So an x is power of what? Is what? 1. Hence, I don't need this off. Right? And plus 0 to is off. I said x minus 1 minus 1 is what? 0. And x to power 0 is what? Is 1. Hence, let me just put 1 here to our conclusion. So multiply this by 1, I'll have my dy over the x is equal to 12x squared plus 6x minus 2. Here is my answer after differentiation. Perhaps you can also choose to factorize. Now, I want you guys to understand something from this concept here. If I differentiate a term that is not attached to x, at the end of differentiation, because of zero, this term here is 1, is 
not attached to x. S because what? Zero. Also, if I decrease the term attached to x such that that x I attach to it is raised to power 1. Something like this is power 1. Hence, at the end of that definition, I will have what that term, which is raised to 2. At the end, I will have 2. I said if I differentiate the term that is not attached to x, that is that term, that number does not have x. At the end of the definition, I will have what? I will have 0. Also, if I differentiate the term, that's attached to x such that that x is just power 1. At the end of my differentiation, I will have that term, which is 2. Um, so that we, let me show you, let me make you guys understand what I'm saying uh, very well. Uh, let's take an example and let's um, stress this point. I, if I say I have y is equal to 6x plus 3. I'm told to differentiate this one via general method. What do I do? We said I'm differentiating y with respect to what? x. Because what? The y over the x is equal to this term is attached to x. What do I have? I have 6. Plus what? This is 0. Why? Because this is a what? A constant term. Right? No x at the back. So because what? Um, 0. Why this as what? Just a, a x. At the end, I have what? That term. So my answer here is my dy over the x here is equal to 6. So here is the, um, the way um, to solve problem on the general method. Now, our next class, we'll be discussing on uh, the general uh, method on how to differentiate. Um, sorry, we also have, now listen, we also have first two method. We have first 6. We have what? The first principle method of differentiation. We also have what? First principle method of differentiation. Right? So, thanks for watching. Hmm? Okay.